Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to America's premier muscle car showroom, Hankster's Hot Rods, where we own and house anywhere from 65 to 80 vehicles at any given time. If you are watching the vehicle we are about to present to you today on any other advertisement other than Hankster's uh, website, which is hanksters.com, please be sure to visit our website so you can determine whether th this is in fact a current vehicle that we have for sale. If you are watching this on YouTube, uh, on ClassicCars.com, on Hemmings, uh, this vehicle may no longer be uh, available for sale. We own all of our cars, so you're dealing directly with the seller. There are no third parties involved. We are not a consignment dealership. We welcome all of you to visit Hangster's Hot Rods to look at the vehicle you might be purchasing. We encourage all of our buyers to come in person. Uh, Daytona Beach is a, a great tourist destination. There's a lot to do here. Uh, it's, it's a fun two, three day trip, maybe even a week long trip. Uh, come check out your, our cars for yourself. Uh, check out underneath. We'll take it on a test drive. Have some fun. Hangsters.com. And uh, if you want to reach us by phone, it's 386-944-9219. Enjoy today's presentation. Okay, this is the uh, engine bay of a 1978 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Um, this vehicle is the last in a long lineage of the, the big cubic inch motors. They kind of quit right after that and started putting mini motors in them. But this guy houses its original 425 cubic inch Cadillac engine in it. It's a four barrel. Well, actually, it would be fuel injected, I think. Nope, four barrel. It's a four barrel. Be a quadra jet on it. Um, <clears throat> Just a real quick overview, the only thing I see that is not original in this car is it has a, a chrome uh, cap on the master cylinder and it has high silicone plug wires on it, newer plug wires put on it. Other than that, it is original in its entirety. Um, has the original fan shroud on it, the original fan, it has power steering, power brakes, factory air conditioning, it does have a dual new, new dual stage master cylinder on it. Washer bottle is still hooked up and functional, so is the overflow. It's the original one, it's not cracked up or deteriorated. There's no paint work or anything done. All Jeff did in this thing to detail it was uh, Wash it off a little bit, clean it up, and uh, put a little bit of shine on it. And that's what you're looking at now. The hoses for the intake is still intact. Uh, all the aluminum pieces for the air conditioning system are all intact and nice and clean, not deteriorated. Still houses its original alternator from what I can see. I'm going to guess Donnie put new belts on it. He puts new belts on just about everything. Uh, HEI distributor, of course, in this car. All the decals, everything underneath this hood is still the original. Nothing has been replaced, nothing has been reconditioned other than just a cleanup. This is a very original car. We're going to show you the rest of it and um, it's kind of a time capsule. This is kind of one of one last in a long lineage of uh, big motored Cadillacs. Okay, you're looking at a 1978 78 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. This car is pretty much all original and by that I mean it's been touched up a little tiny bit here and there for maybe a scratch or something through the years but the majority of this car is original paint and undisrupted from when it was new. You can see the fit of the uh, hood to the fenders. The hood's about the size of a Camaro. Um, everything lines up just the way it should and the paint on the hood and the majority of this car is the original paint. This is the original painted on pinstripe. It is not tape. It is painted on, original Cadillac decal in the front. Uh, the paint is obviously original quality. Uh, it could use a good buffing and glazing, but other than that, all we did was, Jeff just went over it real quick, washed it, and you're looking at it just the way it was traded. Um, trim around the headlights, across the front of the grill. This is all chrome. Cadillac's famous for putting all the chrome in the world on cars, and it's all really nice. There's no deterioration, no pitting, no patina whatsoever on it. Front bumper doesn't have any marks or scuffs or anything on it. There are no, well, let me check out. Yeah, it's just a little piece of white paint missing there, but the, the rubber strip across the front is all nice. It's not dented or marked in any way, no indentures on it. Chrome bumper guards and your chrome underneath the, the, the bumper, the grill, the um, license plate frame, everything is just as fresh and clean and nice as it was in 1978 when it was uh, released. Got our fender mounted turn signal indicators. Uh, they give you high beam, low beam, uh, left turn, right turn. Um, geez, I can't think of what else they do give you. Oh no, there's three lights in there if I remember correctly though, and one of them give you 
uh, turn signals, and the other one's going to give you a, a high beam, low beam. But there's a third one for something. I can't remember what it is. Chrome around the side here is just as nice as you'd ever hope to find. Original hubcaps. They used these same style hubcaps in uh, 78, 79, I think 80 and 81 even. But they're the original style hubcaps on it. You can see the original paint on this. This is not tape, it's paint. Tinted glass, of course. The, the dashboard has uh, uh, no indication of warpage whatsoever or cracks or anything else on it. Single mirror, it's a, a remotely adjustable from the inside. Uh, door strip going down the side of this vehicle. Uh, there's absolutely no dents whatsoever in it. I don't see any marks at all in it. Absolutely none. Look at the uh, fit of the door to the front fender and also to the rear quarter panel. It does have its door guards on it, which were factory installed. And again, you can see this painted on pinstripe continuing on. It's an area right here. The rest of this is all original paint. Something must have scratched it here. Someone made an attempt to uh, uh, fix it with a spray can. Obviously, it didn't work out very well. But we're leaving the car as it is for its originality. Tinted glass on the sides. Uh, no patina on the door handles. The, uh, the vinyl top itself is just as nice and fresh as you'd ever hope to find anywhere. Trim around the uh, rear light as nice as it can be, quarter window. The doors are gigantic, and you can see that there's no paintwork on any of the sides of this car or anything. Um, there's your uh, door stickers from the factory. You can see that the bottoms of the doors, everything, all your rubbers are nice and soft. This is a real 43,000 mile car, by the way. It has actual miles on the title. There's an armrest. Uh, uh, where it's broken here from somebody having his arm on it through the years. It's kind of normal leather interior, not vinyl. This is real leather. This is Cadillac now, not a Chevy. This thing, um, the interior is as fresh and clean and nice as can be. There's no wear indicated on the sides here from getting in and out of the vehicle. Um, seat belts, of course, front and rear in this car. Um, shoulder belt type in the front. No cracks in the steering wheel. Yeah, dashboard nice and fresh and clean, carpeting the same way. Uh, it, it presents itself to be a real 43,000 mile car. I don't think there's any doubt that it is, and it is documented that way. It does have power windows, power locks, a tilt wheel, cru cruise? No, it does not have cruise. Um, just a, a really nice, fresh car. Going down the rest of the side here. Uh, looking into the hat rack, it still has its perforations for the speakers. Back light, nice and clean. There's no deterioration of the vinyl. It's very thickly padded, too. It's not like a regular plain vinyl top. These are really padded well. This one shows itself to be nice and all original. White wall tires, I forgot to mention them, the original style type. A uh, little tiny bit of, I don't know, something scratched across the top of here. Again, somebody got a little industrious with a... Uh, a little creative with a spray can. Somebody must have scratched it and must have had some paint left in the sprayer, so he tried to rectify the, the problem there. Going around the back side of it, same thing, painted on pinstripe, and look at the, uh, uh, the fitment of this deck lid. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. The paint is the original paint. It could use a buffing, and other than that, honestly, there's nothing to say negative about the car. The chrome bumpers in the back are huge. Um, again, there's no there's no scuffs or marks or anything on the bumpers. Uh, rub strips in the back, the same as they were in the front. They're not marked up or dinged up or anything. Tail light assemblies, which are housed inside of the uh, outside bumper guards, bumpers themselves. Uh, really nice condition. They're in, in excellent condition. Original Cadillac floor mats that came with this guy. I don't know, somebody stole a spare tire. It's not in there, but the, uh, the trunks in these cars were finished. They, uh, Again, you know, they were done with a little bit higher grade of uh, uh, construction than uh, most of the other GM cars were at that time. The original jack sticker, and you can see all original paint under here. And where a lot of these guys are deteriorated, deteriorated under here, this one has absolutely none. I mean none. Very, very straight original car indicating that it is a 43,000 mile car. Okay. Passenger side. Um... Again, painted on pinstripe. Paints very, very nice on this car, too. Our rub strip that goes down the side, I don't see any indentures on it. Everything looks nice and clean and fresh. Final on the top, the same way as it was on the other side. Uh, this top is very nice. They didn't do anything on this one. There's only two spots we found, actually, so far. That one over there 
and the one on the tail where he got a little creative with his spray can. Um, the wipes, I forgot to mention on the other side, they're really nice. They don't need replaced. Obviously, there's no miles on them. Door handle, same as the other side. Look at the fit of the door, too. Well, we'll see the front in a minute here, but look at the fit. Everything is just as nice and clean and nice as can possibly be. That will give you a little better shot of the interior here, and we'll get a better one once we get inside the car. But look inside the door jams even. Everything is fresh and clean and just as nice as you'd ever hope to find any vehicle, especially of this age. Uh, all the rubbers, again, on the doors and the uh, deck lid, everything, that's all nice and soft and pliable. And again, those two points that I pointed out, those are the only two places I found paint so far. The, the car's been touched up. Somebody, I think, tried to buff this front fender. It's a little, I think somebody tried to buff it to see what the car would look like. Anyway, back to our paint stripe. It still continues around the car, circumnavigates the whole guy. Uh, power antenna, this is manually operated, so I'm sure it will go down. Uh, door gap in the front to the hood, everything. Look at this. And again, this is the GM's high mark of vehicles back at that time, you know, 1978. And we're back where we started again. Look at the chrome on this thing everywhere. This is a time capsule, really. Uh, the, the car is a 1978 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Uh, you can see that the majority of this car, other than a couple of little touch-up spots, is the original paint. The chrome absolutely is original on the car. The interior is original. There's no wear on the leather seats. There's no uh, cracks on the steering wheel. The glass doesn't have any scratches or scrapes on it anymore. The vinyl top is just as fresh and clean as it was in 1978. And it's got a 425-inch four-barrel V8 motor to push this boat along. It's a really great car. Uh, it's, it's a documented 43,000 mile car. Again, I keep bringing that back, but it is. And it presents itself as such, and we're going to go for a ride. You can see the way it runs. Come down and take a look at it if you can. But if you can't, that's why Devin's compiling all these uh, videos and uh, photos for you. You'll see a hundred of them on the Hangster's website. So take a look at them. Okay, this is the uh, underside of a 1978, 78 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. A real 43,000 mile, unmolested, original car. It's just an amazing, it's a time capsule, it really is. Uh, you look in the front here, nothing's been really uh, changed from 1978. Had a little bit of dust on it through the years, that's it. The original uh, disc brakes in the front. The shocks didn't need re replaced, they're still the original ones. All your framework and everything, it's it, it just as straight and clean and nice as you'd ever hope to find. There's no dents on the frame anywhere or the floor pans or undercarriage. Uh, Jeff beaten up the uh, engine a little bit here for you, but you can see that there's no leaks on the engine, the bell housing area, or the transmission at this uh, point of time anyway. Uh, at this point of time, uh, the um, tranny has a new vacuum modulator on it, you can see that. The exhaust system is the original exhaust. This is the original header pipe that came with it, original catalytic converter that was released with the car, and the original pipe going back to an AC uh, muffler in the back. You can see the floor pans are just as fresh and clean as you'd ever, ever hope to find. Uh, parking brakes still bolted up and functional. Uh, no marks on the sides of the frame going back. There's no, uh, no marks whatsoever for being jacked up through the years. It's an absolutely original condition. <clears throat> Again, look at these floor pans. Front floor pans, back floor pans. There's no marks on them, no indentures for people trying to jack them up. Yep, there's one right there, a little tiny jack mark right on this edge. That's the only thing we found underneath this thing so far. Original shocks in the back, coil springs front, coil springs back, discs in the front, drums in the back, ventilated huge drum brakes in the back. Uh, the original gas tank has got a 10 bolt Cadillac rear end in it, very heavy duty rear end in it. Uh, the gas tank of course is the original gas tank and there are no dents or marks or scuffs or anything on it. Floor pans up above the uh, gas tank are just as fresh and clean as they were in 1978. It's a full perimeter frame on this car. Your drop downs in the quarter panels, there's the passenger side and the driver's side, still all original. They still have their original splattered on seam sealer that the GM used at that point. A fresh round of rubber on it, you can see up through here, everything is just as fresh and clean as it was in 1978. This thing is a true time capsule, you're buying a car that uh, is a documented 43,000 mile car with a 425 cubic inch Cadillac motor and it's available at Hangsters at Daytona Beach. It's a really neat car. You got to take a look at this one.
we got to get this video done pretty good. I'm, I'm sweating so bad I look like a drowned rat. I'm going to get a haircut too. Uh, tilt wheel and check this out. Telescopic wheel, just like a Corvette. Horn works. Both horns, in fact, they might even have three of them. It sounds pretty good. The air conditioning is on at this point because it's about 140 out here right now, but the air is blowing icicles. It cannot blow any colder than it does. And it's a climate control unit also. Has power antenna. You can see on the right hand up there, the power antenna goes up, and you can make it go back down too. Let's see if the radio works. How about that? Got a radio that works. Wipers. Just out them beating themselves to death. Uh, turn signal left, you can see it functioning as it should. Okay, turn signal right, also functioning as it should. Power seat works just the way it should too. You have power windows both sides, they both function as they should. Not letting any warm air in here. <coughs> and uh, power locks. You got a remote mirror and it also functions as it should. This is a real 43,000 mile car. This is a really, really nice vehicle. We're going to go for a ride. The car's totally amazing. Look at this. No hands going down a road, absolutely as straight as could possibly be. Absolutely as straight as could be. Let's try brakes, no hands. Same thing. Look at this. Oh, there's a guy behind me a little upset. Um, th this car, you can drive it anywhere you want to go. It's got a new round of rubber on it. The brakes have all been gone through. Uh, the exhaust still appears to be the original one from what I can see. Speedometer functioning as it should, not jumping all over the place. And the uh, fuel gauge functioning, Jeff gave us uh, a little bit over a quarter, about a quarter of a tank of fuel. The clock's not working, but we don't care. Um, this is a really nice car. I mean, this is a, a real-time capsule. It's something that uh, they just don't make anymore. It's a, it's a running, great running car, tons of power. Um, has all the amenities that you'd ever want. Ice-cold air conditioning, which is really a valuable asset to us here today. Might be up to 150 now. Uh, it, it's just a great car. It's here at Hangsters. You really got to take a look at this one. If you're in the market for a big old Cadillac uh, with the last of the uh, big motors in them, this is your guy. Just got to get a little ahead here. You hear the four barrel opening on it? It's pulling really well. And the car's pulling just the way it should. Shifts are nice and smooth. They don't bang into gear. They're nice and smooth. I mean, it has it has adequate performance. It, it, you got to remember, this is a very big, heavy car. You know, it's like asking the Queen Mary to do some offshore racing. It doesn't apply. This is a very comfortable, nice, smooth running, more than adequate power with this 425 engine in it. And look at this. It just goes down the road. You can't get a car that goes down the road any better than this. Point it where you want to go. Eat a sandwich, have a Coke, whatever you want, and then when you get there, just turn in. It's a great looking car. Uh, it has a lot of originality. You're going to see the paint. Other than a couple points that we uh, uh, indicated, there's it, it's original. And the undercarriage is just undisrupted. Uh, the mechanicals of the car are just exemplary. And it's here at Hankster's in Daytona Beach. It is really a nice car.